Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I use emulation a lot and one of my favorite front-ends for that has become uh, Botticera. And what I wanted to do is one of the new um, additions to Botticera 36 is the uh, introduction of PS Vita games. Uh, so here I'm going to go to the file manager and then to my ROMs folder and you'll see in Botticera 36 there's a new PS Vita folder and you want to put uh, your ROM files, your games, in this folder here. I've got a few different ones added here. Um, you're going to want them to be in either .zip format or .psvita format. Uh, .zip works the best. Um, as far as getting them installed, it's the it's the easiest, the one that requires less steps. With each zip uh, basically containing, uh, at the very least, like the the basic structure of the PS Vita game, like the eboot.bin, the SEE underscore sys folder, the SEE underscore module folder. Um, most likely, they'll already be in a zip format uh, when you uh, acquire them from the internet. Uh, Things like uh, .pkg, uh, those can be installed and those will work, but there's an extra step and you'll need to make sure that you have the entire file structure of the game anyway uh, to browse to the work.bin file um, for each game. Uh, so it's a, sort of a multi-step process to do a, a package file installation, but it will work. Um, but really, uh, go ahead and get the, the zip files and, and it's just one step. Uh, there is a little initial setup you have to do the first time you launch uh, the uh, Vita 3K config from the Applications menu in Botticera. Um, but once you've done that, yours should start up very similar, similarly to how mine just did. And you can see in the File menu, you have your options to install a package, install a, a zip, or a VPK. Like I said, as far as I know um, and have tested, all of these methods work. Uh, but the dot zip method, uh, method is going to be the simplest, requiring the fewest steps. Uh, I'm not going to go through that process now, uh, but it's pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, you just click on install dot zip here and uh, browse to your zip file on your Botticera hard drive. or external media that you've connected. Uh, you can also right click on each individual game. After you install them, they'll appear down below. You can right click on each one and do custom configs or here's the global config. Um, the only thing I really want to change is OpenGL down to Vulkan. Uh, but for whatever reason, while that works fine on Windows and does improve a number of games, uh, I cannot get it to do the switch permanently or, or at all um, on this version. I, I don't know if that's a Botticera thing or if it's some inconsistency between the Vita 3K Windows and Linux versions right now. Um, but I've even tried editing the uh, configuration file manually um, on the Botticera file system from OpenGL to Vulkan. And when I start up the game, it just gets overridden uh, back to OpenGL. So I'm interested to know how I might actually change this to Vulkan or if it's even possible yet. Uh, back into the ROMs PS Vita folder, um, there is uh, an underscore info.txt that has a lot of the instructions, but one thing I want to point out here is that the game ID does need to be within brackets as part of the file name. So what I did was I just would start the application and look at it and it has each game ID listed. So I was able to get it from the application in the applications menu and then uh, add it here manually to the file names. But it will not work if it does not have the game ID in brackets as part of the file name. Um, and here's instructions on everything in the info.txt uh, that basically breaks down most of what I've just said. don't actually after you've installed it you don't actually need the full game rom zip file you could actually get rid of it and create a dummy file 
um, as long as it has the game ID in brackets and is a .zip or .psvita file. Um, so you could, you could make a text file and give it a name, put in the correct game ID in brackets, and add .psvita as the extension, and it should still launch the game, provided the game has already been installed through the applications menu, as we did, uh, as I showed you how you would do that before. But yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here and get back to Batacera and go into our PS Vita menu. Um, I've got a few games here. Um, most of them, and, and be prepared for this, most of these do not work very well at all. Um, if, if they run at all, they may freeze or crash periodically. Uh, some of them have very horrible um, graphical glitches. Um, I do think that the, so far, um, for my testing, the Windows version of Vita 3K is a little further along. will, I think, run some of these games better than uh, the Linux version here on Batacera. Um, but two games that run really well, if you like JRPGs, are both of the Tales games. I, they are very playable. I think there might be some slight performance issues with them. But, uh, again, I think they're very, very play playable if you like the Tales of franchise. Uh, so I started, I started up uh, Tales of Hearts R, just to show you. And you can see that, like, the cutscenes are running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short, though. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and press start and start a new game. And I want to get into some gameplay, so I'm going to... Try to skip past as much. Again, most of these scenes that, uh, that I've seen so far in the game have played. There's no issue, but I am going to skip past them here. I don't need to, but just to, to get into the gameplay to show you a little bit of gameplay. There are a lot of events to skip at the beginning of this game. <laughs> Okay, we got a little movement on the field here. Uh, everything looks good, everything looks normal. And it's for the tutorial battle, but it'll show us the, the battle mechanics and give us a good look at how um, the game looks uh, when you're in inside of a battle here. So I'm just going to run through the tutorial. So, yes, while there are a number of games that run perfectly decently like this one, um, I would not get my hopes up. Don't expect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that probably the vast majority of games um, aren't uh, very compatible right now. At least not with this Linux version with the current settings I have on Botticera. Um Again, I think it'll, it'll make a world of difference if I can learn how to um, actually switch over to Vulkan 
um, but that just doesn't seem, nothing I've tried has worked for this so far. Um, is doing that also made a difference in uh, the, the Windows version of Vita 3K for me. Um, so I'm anxious to know if there's a way to actually get it to switch to Vulkan and not change back when you launch the game through um, Botocera's uh, emulation station here. Well, actually, even launching it from the application itself, it changes it back, I believe. Yeah, so I have not been able to get this to run with Vulkan um, at all as of yet. So hopefully that's something that I can figure out for the future. Anyway, that's the basics on how to get PS Vita up and running on Botticera version 36. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a like and be sure to subscribe for more great content like this in the future. Okay, thanks for watching.